Yes, they're back. And uh, they're Mr. Parry heavy. There's a couple well, of good Allens in there as well. Enough, yeah. Should we start with Mr. Parry then, Andy, yes, with the uh, news of a competition? The most deserving applicant will be chosen by our very own Darren Goff. Yeah, old Goffy. You know who Goff is. Not based on that impression, Mike, no. <laughs> Sadly. Not really, no. I must have been thinking of somebody else. <laughs> Big Allen now on the quick free kick that did for Arsenal in the Champions League. Uh, Wenger's a hypocrite. Oof. Arsenal have twice taken quick free kicks against Chelsea and scored. It leaves a sewer, a sewer taste in the mouth. Well, I'm not sure about that. that. A sewer you, taste. You need a bit That's, of gold spot. Yeah, you certainly would. When you give him a brush, I would, Big Alan. Dear me, the old sewer taste. It's not good. Uh, time now to enter Mike Boville's time tunnel. I'm off to Craven Cottage this evening. Yeah. Uh, covering uh, Fulham versus Shakhtar Donetsk uh, last night. Hey. Oh, takes him doing, doesn't he? What was the result? I have no idea. That's reckon, isn't it? Yeah. The time tunnel there. Incredible. Uh, now, if you didn't see much of the Winter Olympics, here's Mr. Parry with all you really needed to know about the event. This was a question I didn't have a clue on, did you? Uh, I've only watched bits of it. Uh, I've watched uh, the curling. Uh, 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 well, I watched the old tray thing because the girl came back last night. Tray, you know, the skeleton. Uh, uh, is it called that? Uh, yeah, the tray. What do you call a tray? Henry, was it? Yeah, in case you missed the Winter Olympics, that's pretty much what happened. Henry the tray and the girl who came back last night uh, it was what you needed to know. Yeah. Now, uh, here's a caller to uh, George Galloway, but he's not quite ready. Let's uh, go to James in Dewsbury now on the caring issue. Go ahead, James. James, you'll have to turn your radio down. There we are. He's you. He's you. That could have been Goffy. He could have been. Actually. Better than uh, Mike's impression. <laughs> now it's uh, Liam Brady with Dance and Ronnie doing what's known as an Igor Monachev. Igor Monachev. Great to have you on, Liam. Real pleasure to speak to you. Thanks for coming Cheers, on. Cheers, Liam. Morning. Bye bye. There good we are. Night. <laughs> <laughs> Morning. Bye bye. Yeah. It says good. hello and goodbye all in one sentence. It's it's tremendous. Yeah. Let's have a bit of Mike Parry again, mm. shall we? He was talking us through uh, Graham Alexander's penalty technique. Almost appears like he toe ends a few of them, but he's ever so good at it. It's probably the top of his foot, is it? He sweeps in the. I don't know. You know what I mean? He probably, he probably turns his foot into like a spatula type of device, you see what I mean? Mm. And as he whacks it at the ball, it probably looks to the naked eye like it is the toe, where in fact it's probably across the top of the metarsals. Yeah, there's only one of those around here, let's be honest. <laughs> right, yeah, based on that, I would say you're absolutely right, Andy. Yeah. So, Andy, what are we calling this clip? Get on with it, Melvin. Let's speak to Melvin, Mike, because Melvin thinks yeah. that maybe Stoke are taking it a wee bit too far. Melvin, morning to you. Morning, Melvin. Hi. Hi, yeah. Melvin. How are you doing? Not too bad, thank you. Good, thank you. Mm-hmm. Go on, mate. Um, we got, I'm going to be on, right? Yes, please. Yes, you go are, on, Melvin. You are on, Melvin. You are. You're talking thank to you. the nation. Carry on. Thank you. Good morning, gentlemen. Yeah, hello. Yeah, all together now. <laughs> Get on with it, Melvin. <laughs> yeah, all right. Uh, this is uh, Mr Michael Quinn now, mm. of course, uh, discussing his uh, former club, Portsmouth. And I think that's all Portsmouth fans wanted, Tog, mm. was to be in the know, know what was happening to their club, not mm. just, hold on, you know, we're going to go under, uh, we've got to, you know, uh, go into liquidisation. I don't want to see Portsmouth <laughs> liquidised. <laughs> not really. really. No. I'd hate that, wouldn't you? <laughs> and no, the players don't deserve the that, really. the documents, I suppose. <laughs> After everything that's uh, gone on. Oh, well. Here's uh, Mike now on the backroom team who keep him going. It's a very, very nice shirt, and I'm going to have to throw it away now because you can't go around with curry stains on your shirt for the rest of your life, can you? What do you do, boil it? I don't know. I don't know. Well, it's been boiled. I mean, it was washed. My, my housekeeper's a great woman. She does everything for me, Barbara. And... Oh, yes, my housekeeper, Barbara, and, uh, and my chef, Ron. And all yeah, this he would have... He's, he's got a real a whole, winner, that, wasn't he? He's it? got a whole backroom <laughs> team, Mike Perry. He's <laughs> like Michael Winner. <laughs> Diner! Diner! <laughs> he's always screaming that in the corridors <laughs> here at Talk Sport. Now, uh, let's have uh, one of Andy's favourites. Hmm. Uh, Simon in Islington. You're on Talk Sport. How are you doing, Simon? Hello, Simon. How are you doing, mate? <laughs> yeah, he's that confident. You like that because he didn't just say hello, Simon. He yeah. went, hello, Simon. How are you doing? Yeah, normally, normally they're a bit sort of you know nervous, and you can hear. But that one was a really confident, a real he confident. Themed him with a hello, Simon. Saying his own name. That's mm. right. Who's next, Andy? Mr. Brazil now with a little window on his world. Mm. Uh, what are you up to Ooh. today? Uh, I don't know yet. To be honest, I'm not sure. Uh, I could be. I don't know. My problem is. I get I get a rose when I want to watch the football on the flat. Do you really? Okay, we <laughs> touched too much information there, Al. But uh, staying with that theme, a gorgeous George was at it again. And you can give me your uh, musical suggestions for the great year of 1972, which I remember oh so well. I was uh, 18 years old, and like a broom handle in the morning. 
Well, thanks very Thank much. Thank you very much, George. God bless you. So, uh, next up, uh, here is the uh, call of the week to Mike and Andy. Chris, afternoon to you. Is this me speaking, though? <laughs> Talk Sport, caller of the week. No, I like this one. Yeah. It's finally, it's uh, Alan with a time check. Morning, eight minutes after, six minutes after eight o'clock. <laughs> So that's 14 minutes, isn't it? Yeah, I think you're right, yeah. It's eight minutes after six minutes uh, <laughs> equals... Let's hear it once more. Morning, eight minutes after, six minutes after eight o'clock. So eight minutes after, <laughs> six minutes after <laughs> equals 14 minutes after. And it's a new d- drive here at TalkSport to get kids more interested in maths I and just improve so. the quality of maths. Yeah, that's right, yeah. So it's uh, 15 minutes past two minutes <laughs> minus seven minutes past eight o'clock. <laughs> it's uh, China's morning. It's uh, two minutes past the square root of 15. <laughs> it's working, though. It is. The it's maths definitely good. improving in this place. Oh, well, well done. That's the clips of the week. 